Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost. Hi, now. this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost now. Hello, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost now. Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. Hey, this is Gary. Hi, this is Gary with MacMost. Hi, this is Gary with MacMost now. Hi, this is Gary with MacMost. Hi, this is Gary with MacMost. This is Gary with MacMost. This is Gary with MacMost. This is Gary with MacMost now. Hi, this is Gary with episode number 500 of MacMost now. Today, let's take a look at the new Mac App Store. There was a fundamental change yesterday in how you find, purchase, and download Macintosh software. You can now do this through the new Mac App Store. Let's take a look. So to get the Mac App Store, what you need to do is go to Software Update so you can make sure you're running version 10.6.6. .6. It's part of that upgrade. The App Store itself is an application. You can find it in your dock after the upgrade. You can also find it in the Apple menu right here. You must have version 10.6.6. .6. Snow Leopard in order to run the App Store. So of course you must be on an Intel Mac as well. You browse through the App Store just as you would browse through the Music Store or the App Store in iTunes. Here you'll see some featured applications. You can browse through things on the front page featured by Apple. You can also jump to other pages. For instance, you can go to Top Charts to see what the top paid and free apps are. You can also go to Categories and jump to any one of the categories. For instance, games or lifestyle or photography, productivity. You can also click on purchases to see the applications you've purchased and update to see if there are any updates for the applications you've installed. You use the same account that you use for iTunes to purchase applications in the Mac App Store. All you need to do is use the sign in button and once you're signed in you can make purchases and they'd be charged to your credit card. You can also use iTunes gift cards to make purchases in the App Store as well. So like with iTunes, you have this little purchase button here. It tells you the price. You can also click next to it and get a link or tell a friend. You can browse through what's available. Click on See All. So you can see here's the top free games. And here at number five is my own game, Gold Strike. So as an example, you click on that. You'll see screenshots of the game, some information about it, a description, and reviews as well. You can actually install it from here. If you already have the application installed, it shows up here as installed. If you've previously purchased something, say you have the latest iLife or you have iWork, it knows these apps are installed and shows them as such. Same is true for third party applications. It'll show those as already installed if you had them previously as well. However, I've heard some reports that this won't be true once those third party apps update that you'll need to purchase them again. It's too early to tell right now. So as an example here, let me scroll down and install one of the apps. Let's install the new Twitter app. I click on the button here and it will start the download. You can see it jumped there to the dock. If I go down to the dock here, I can see it's there with a progress bar and then it jumps up and down when it's installed. So some other facts about the App Store. It should be available internationally just about every country that Apple does business. It also is completely separate from the iOS, in other words the iPhone and iPod Touch and iPad Store. Apps purchased in those are not compatible with the Mac and vice versa. They're completely different pieces of hardware so they have different pieces of software. Though a lot of developers are creating versions for both. The store contains both free and priced apps. Some are as cheap as 99 cents. Others are more typical software prices like 10 or 20 or 25 dollars. This also means that you can now purchase some iLife apps and iWork apps separately from each other. Previously you couldn't do that. So for instance now if you just want iMovie, you can purchase just iMovie. Probably the most important fact about the Mac App Store is it's not the only way to purchase Mac software. You can still purchase it just as you had before. You can do it directly from developer sites. You can do it from sites that sell software. And you can find them in stores, particularly from large developers like Adobe and Microsoft. Some apps will never find their way into the App Store because of restrictions like on what the apps can do and what content they contain. So you'd still be able to purchase those in the same way that you have before. So that's a quick look at the Mac App Store, a fitting topic I feel for the 500th episode of MacMost Now. I just want to thank everybody for their support over the years. I'm looking forward to episode 501 and beyond. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.